Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Sun Belt has produced great stars, guys like DeMarcus Ware and T.Y. Hilton and O.C. Humaniora. Maybe today is the day another star emerges in the Sun Belt Championship game. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. championship game. This is what each of these teams have worked for all year. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Welcome back to the action, and we hope the action will even up a little bit here in quarter number three. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 16-yard line. The Lane's coaching staff will go out tonight. I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing has been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. Gets out to around the 25. On their own 25 yard line. Second down. He's pushed out of bounds around the 47-yard line. That was a great play call. But what was even better was how he finished the run. He got out of bounds to stop the clock. 55. Right there. 55. Easy, easy, easy. Here you go. Run, run, run. And he's taken down around the 36-yard line. Good solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. From the 36-yard line, it's first down. Here's the pitch, and now he's got the corner. And he's tackled around the 34-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. That makes it second and eight. at the 20. Tackle at the 13. This young man has just established himself as the school's most prolific quarterback. Is he the best quarterback they've ever seen around here? You can make a pretty good argument. From the 13-yard line. First down. This defense is looking to make it three straight trips to the red zone without a single point. He fights forward to about the 10. Out, got the corner. He's knocked out of bounds at the three-yard line. That's good for a game of seven yards. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Touchdown, Roadrunner. He hits 
the PAT. An eight-play, 83-yard drive. And they get it in for seven. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Well, I think it's safe to say the defense had his number on that one. It can be very frustrating for a running back when he stopped before he even gets going. Second down, 10 to go. Ball in the 25. Fires it quickly. He's tackled at around the 50. in man coverage there, fellas, and that's why they stopped that screen. Yeah, and when the secondary isn't dropping back into zone, it makes it difficult to have success with that kind of screen play. Second and nine. Ball on the 48-yard line. Cross is out of the tailback on the screen. And they push him out at about the 41. Third down and medium, you'd think the defense would have a chance here to get really aggressive and to be able to stop the offense. I don't know, maybe they were anticipating a pass there, but they've got to do a better job of defending the run, especially on third down. And down he goes at about the 27 yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And they make the stop, the 13-yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. the 12-yard line. From the 12-yard line, it's second down. He makes it to the nine. Hilliard gets three yards on the carry. Tenth play of the drive. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. They're going to go for the easy three here. The kick is up, and it splits the uprights. Irby, this guy had his little locker room a little bit earlier than that injury. But right now, it doesn't look like he's likely to play any more football. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Straight up the middle, and he'll lose yardage. Or give the defense all the credit here. Man, that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. Yeah. 
Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. Pitches back. Runs outside for a nice game. Gidry gets about four yards on the play. So at the end of three, Tulane in front, 31-7. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Mike, easy, easy, easy. Stingray! Stingray! Let's go! Tech, tech! Regular, regular, regular! That's a huge, huge stop here in the fourth quarter. They've got the lead. They're going to get the football back. There's still a lot of ball left. I love to see a confident quarterback. But you don't want to just go back there and put blind faith in your throws. You need a little bit more time to evaluate the coverage before you release the football. Get to that quickly. He gets hit out of bounds around the 49 yard line. That gives him the team's all time mark for receiving yards. Good for him. He's always been a fierce competitor and a great talent, and every time he makes a catch, there's a chance he can do something big. First and ten. Ball on the 49-yard line. Gets out to around the 38, and that was an excellent run there. Yeah, Brad, but it was also great blocking up front by the offensive line to open up the hole. Tries to get around the corner. And now he's got room to run. Makes it to the 17. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. First and 10. From the 17 yard line. First down. The 10. Gets out to around the nine. Nice job by the running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. This is the eighth play of this drive. Out to the receiver, and it's knocked away. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. This is the 10th play of the drive. They'll bring him down right around the four yard line. A yard, if that, on the quarterback keeper. That brings up second and goal. It's second and goal. Ball on the four. Straight run here, and he's got nowhere to go. We're at the 12th play of the drive. Touchdown, Roadrunner. Splits the uprights with the extra point. <laughs> Tackle made the 43 yard line. You know, I've been so caught up in these offensive players, the quarterback and the receivers, and what's happening on the field. I gotta step back for a second and remind all of us what the job the offensive coordinator has done preparing his team and calling the right plays to give them such a chance to play with them. Here's a give up the middle, tackled right away. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. They come out of an empty backfield. Tackle made right around the 32-yard line. First 
and 10. Ball on the 32-yard line. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Just under three to go in regulation. He's taken down around the 27 yard line. Loss of one there for the halfback. The Roadrunners use their second timeout. They're about four yards away here on third down. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. Number nine was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and four. Kicks away, and it's good. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. Not just musicians who can star in Nashville. Time to check in on the Music City Bowl. And for Western Kentucky, they continue their winning wave. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. Tulane's defense has been a force to be reckoned with, especially this game. Well, they've stepped up today. They just seem to be dialed into what this offense is trying to do. Good job against the run. They've been very physical. What I love is how relentless they've run to the football. The offense is coming out on the field, and they haven't had any problem finding the end zone lately. Fires out to his receiver. Finally knocked out of bounds at the 45. From their own 45-yard line, it's first down. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. Just over two minutes in the game. Fires it out. He's hit and taken down. From the 17 yard line. First down. He makes his way out to about the nine. job by the ball carrier. First and foremost, you should always be concerned about the ball. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Room around the corner. He's out to the 30. Down the sideline. And he's taken down at the 48. And 10. Let's see if they can build off that great run. Tackled after a decent pickup. with the final score, 34-14, Greenway. Kirk, go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game. Pretty comfortable win, right about what we expected. This was a strong effort. 
Tulane earned themselves a quality win. These guys weren't necessarily a pushover, and they played a pretty good game, but the better team won. For Tulane, they just keep winning in what has been a great year for them. And for UTSA, today's loss drops them to 8-5 on the season.